Good morning, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm in Vinton County, Ohio at the Vinton Furnace State Forest and I'd like to introduce you to Smooth Sumac. Smooth Sumac can be found throughout the state of Ohio and it's found throughout most of the eastern United States as well. It's a disturbance oriented or an edge species. It needs quite a bit of light, so this is where you're typically going to find it along a road edge or along a forest edge or again in a newly disturbed area. It's typically not single stemmed. You usually find it in clumps or clusters like we find here, sharing a common root system, so it is clonal. This species has a compound leaf. These leaves are pinnately compound. They're anywhere from about 12 inches in length to up to 18 inches in length, and they can have anywhere from 11 to up to 31 leaflets. These are a little bit on the small side, but uh, it's probably a little bit of a droughty or dry site here. So again, 12 to 18 inches in length, 11 to 31 leaflets. These leaflets are fairly long. These are three inches or more in length and narrow. They have teeth along the edges. Uh, the rachis that you're going to see here is typically reddish in color, especially later in the growing season. And again, these are pinnately compound. If we flip them over, they're quite a bit lighter on the underside than they are on the surface. So that's the compound leaf that we're going to find on smooth sumac. Again, since it's such a large leaf, it's going to take a fairly stout twig to support it. So again, very stout twigs, half inch to three quarter inches in diameter. This twig is fairly smooth. In fact, it's typically covered with this waxy coating. It's called a bloom. And if you, if you rub that with your thumb or polish it up, it's going to get very shiny. Um, when it's not polished, it's going to have a dull whitish coat to it. Similar to putting wax on a car, before you polish it off, it's going to be a dull whitish or bluish white color. Once it's polished, it's going to be shiny. It will have some little linocils or bumps on the twig, and then the center of the twig or the pith is going to be pretty spongy. If we look at the buds, the buds are almost completely concealed by the base of the leaf. They're going to be these light brown colored hairy buds, and again, almost completely concealed by the base of the leaf. And then obviously this fruit, it's erect, it's red, unlike the wing sumac, which droops. These are very vertical, they stay erect, and they're the brightest red of the three common sumacs. Uh, these fruits will hang on well into the fall. They're not super highly preferred by wildlife, but again, later in the growing season when there's not a lot of food available, you'll see songbirds coming in, eating on these. You'll actually see deer browsing and eating these as well. So again, it's a, a species that adds some diversity, some color, some pop to the landscape. Um, also, I failed to mention these leaves will turn pretty red in the fall, so it adds some beautiful color there as well. So again, thank you so much for your time, and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.